Welcome to Caseware Quick Vids. This quick vid provides an overview of the time workflow. You can use the workflow layout of time to guide you through your tasks. Only those items assigned to you through Time's protection system appear in your workflow, giving you focus on what needs to be done. With the workflow you can access program features, documents and help from the same screen. You can also view the firm's statistics at a glance in the status panel of workflow. The time workflow can be turned off or on with the workflow button. This is found in the browser toolbar. If the browser toolbar is not visible, turn it on under the view menu, selecting toolbars. The workflow layout is divided into three windows. From left to right, they are the document manager. In this window, the documents assigned to you in the company file are listed. The main window. This window explains each step and provides quick links to the program areas and documents involved. It also gives links to more in-depth explanations in the time documentation. The Navigator. This window displays the steps in the workflow that applies to you, in the order that they should be performed. Click on each step to bring up details about it in the main window. Using Workflow can also access the Status Panel. In the Status Panel you can view the firm's statistics at a glance. For example, you can see the firm's current total time and year-to-date balances, the firm's WIP and AR balances, and project status all on one page. You can also see the detailed information of the balances. Just double click on the heading to view the detailed report. The information on the status panel is displayed depending on the user's protection rights. We can now go over a few areas in the workflow to show you how you can set up your file and do your daily tasks. I have logged in as a supervisor so I have rights to all areas in time. These areas are listed in the navigator panel. To start with, we will go to the setup area. To set up the company's defaults, click on the company setup. You will see the company profile in the main window with tabs for the different areas of the company setup. Under the company profile tab, click the complete the company profile link. It opens the company profile dialog. Go to all available tabs in this dialog and enter your company's specific default information. You can click on the help button in this dialog and any other dialog to see detailed information. When you are done, close the dialog. Next we go to the codes area where you can set up billing codes, work codes, etc. Click on create billing codes and enter your company's billing codes. When you are done, press the back button to go to the next area. After setting up all your codes, click on staff to enter the staff information. Click on the create staff records link to open the staff dialog. After entering your staff information, you can go to the client groups if you use groups, or go to the clients area to set up your clients. Let's go to the clients area. Click on the create client records link. It opens the client dialog. You can add your clients here, or if you've already imported your client information, you can view and edit them. Close the dialog. You can set up your contacts and reoccurring invoices if needed. As you can see, the workflow takes you step by step to the areas you need to go to in order to set up your file properly. Next step is to set up the protection rights for your file. If protection is turned off, turn it on by going to the Turn File Protection On or Off link. Then go to Security Group Setup Area, Create Security and Groups Access Right. Create protection groups and assign rights to groups. To do this, in the right pane, click on the Add button. Add a new group, for example, Juniors, Go to the Rights tab. Time categories are listed in the left pane. In the right pane, the commands or dialogues relevant to the categories are listed. For this group, we want to limit their rights to entering time and expenses. So we go to the Process category and select the right Time Own and Expense Own. We also want them to see their assigned documents. So in the Document Manager category, we select display only assigned documents. Next, go to the Members tab and select AS User to be in Group Juniors. Press OK to close the dialog, click on the Assign button and select the documents the group's members should see in their Document Manager. I'm going to select TJ1 and EJ1 reports. At this time, you have assigned AS staff to a group which has specific rights in the time file. You can continue this process for all groups and staff. So far, we have illustrated how to set up your file. 
Keep in mind that you can also use workflow to process your daily tasks. For example, enter your time and expenses, create bills, enter cash receipts and credit notes. Click on the process in the processing area to open the applicable dialog. Workflow will also guide you through completing your files monthly cycle. Do the month end, move to the next period and process the year in close. You can find the detailed information in the completing area of the navigator. Just click on the area you need to work on. Next I'm going to log on as AS Arlene Smith who belongs to the junior group we set up a few minutes ago. As you can see in the navigator panel she can only see the areas of the file she has the rights to. In the processing area her only task is to enter time and expenses. In the status panel she can only see her own time. Click on the productivity heading and it displays only her time. In the left panel which displays the document manager she can only see the documents she is assigned to. In this case the time and expense report. There is one additional option we should mention. It is launch the status panel on startup option. In the main window of the workflow I'm going to select this option. Next I'm going to log on to the file. As you can see as soon as I logged into the file the status panel is launched which allows me to see the firm's detail at a glance before starting to work in the file. When this option is selected anytime you log into the file you will see the status panel first. In this video we have covered the workflow topic on how you can set up your time file and how staff can use this layout to accomplish their daily tasks or to use it to familiarize themselves with the time features and flow of information. Thank you for watching Caseware Quick Bits.